Minecraft Live returns for another year with a player deciding mob vote. We have the crab, armadillo and penguin to vote for, and only the winning mob will be added to Minecraft 1.21. As per previous years, Mojang has released teaser trailers and web articles detailing the early concepts of each mob. Let's take a look at the main takeaways from each of the teaser trailers. Tiny Vu has found a crab, one of the new mobs that wants to join Minecraft. It lives in mangrove swamps, like this one. The crab's claw is very handy for players that like building. <laughs> yes, uh, because crab claws allow players to place blocks further away. This is the armadillo, one of the mobs that wants to join Minecraft. It lives in warm places, like this savanna biome. The armadillo drops skewed, which can be used to craft armor for your wolf. This will give your favorite four-legged friend some extra defense against hostile mobs. What was that? Wait, those are penguins. Look, there's even a baby! Penguins live in the stony shore biome and they're super friendly, so don't be scared if they come up to say hello. Penguins are a bit clumsy on land, but they are elegant swimmers. Penguins can also help your boat travel faster. Let's summarize the main takeaways from these teasers. The crab will spawn in the mangrove swamp, hanging out with the frogs that currently spawn in this biome. They scuttle around when moving, and will be able to climb blocks and vines. They have one oversized claw that they like to wave around. The humongous claw can be detached, probably by the crab itself, or surgically removed by a player. The gigantic claw can be used to assist players to place blocks from further away. The armadillo will spawn in the savanna biome, where they will likely to be found roaming aimlessly. They can be startled, causing them to roll up into a ball for protection. They can drop a scute, similar in concept to the turtle, and these can be turned into armor for wolves. The penguin will spawn on stony shores, similar to how turtles currently spawn along beaches. There are also confirmed baby variants. They will have a waddling animation on land, and will also swim around nearby oceans. They are a social mob, so they may group together or approach nearby players and peaceful mobs to say hello. They are a speedy swimmer, and they will somehow assist players to make boat travel faster. I expect this year's mob vote will again be polarizing. We'll see people complaining about the choices, the just add them all remarks, and of course everything in between. All of the mob choices can certainly add something to the game, but how well they can be integrated, and what features and behaviors they end up having, is really in the hands of the developers and marketers. Before making your choice to vote, consider this. We haven't seen a winning mob vote have any significant feature improvement over what was depicted in the teaser video. Personally, I think the crab will have the greatest net positive on the game. An extended reach to place blocks is something everyone could use, and we can hope the crabs will become hostile if provoked, or the crab claw could be cooked to add another food source. But hey, as I just mentioned, we shouldn't speculate on things. Any new mob added to the game is a great thing, even if we stop talking about it within weeks of being added to the game. But then again, if it's anything like the Phantom, I prefer we just had a buy and vote. 